Yeah, good morning. My name's David Flanagan. I'm the founder and leader of a company called Atlas Iron Limited. And we've basically got up and running and grown a business because we've challenged the way people thought that you could mine, transport and export iron ore in that part of the world. And um, it's been a wonderful experience being involved in it. And through that, we've got involved in lots of charitable organisations. And I personally, that's almost half of what I do now on a daily basis. And through Eisenhower Fellowships, which was founded in 1953, which is a wonderful organisation which brings people together from all over the world to engage with the best of the best, to extend their leadership capacity. I'm hoping to come here and learn about best practice in, in non-profit non and charitable organisations and take that experience back to Australia and work with the Eisenhower Fellowship Network, which is 1,700 strong, to deliver really important consequential outcomes in those communities. I am Alexandra henry Code, and uh, I am a geneticist. Uh, I'm French, as you could tell by my accent. I come from Paris and I, uh, I'm passionate on children and therefore I've uh, really uh, uh, dedicated my life so far to uh, uh, get some therapeutic insight into uh, uh, various diseases, uh, uh, so mainly genetic diseases. Uh, now, uh, the reason of my coming here is pretty much because I was awarded this Eisenhower uh, Fellowship. And uh, what uh, is about this Eisenhower Fellowship program is that it was founded in uh, 1953, mm -hmm. so quite a while back. And uh, it is a fantastic uh, adventure in the sense that uh, we are a uh, number of us, we are 22, that uh, engage uh, with uh, one another, with uh, people uh, like you today, and uh, organization and industry uh, to uh, hopefully come back in our country and uh, lead to a number of consequential outcomes. Hello, I'm Bruno Rondani from Brazil. I work for this organization I co-founded in 2008. It's called Open Innovation Center. Now we branded Winnovate. And why we innovate? Our idea is to connect innovation managers to entrepreneurs, academia, uh, researchers from uh, national uh, labs, uh, venture capitalists, media, and uh, any other possible stakeholder in an innovation system. The idea is to put them together uh, and work and find common language so that they could uh, uh, develop opportunities to work in collaborative projects for innovation. My experience here in the Eisenhower Fellowships uh, is to talk to people that could inspire us uh, how to do better our work and also to find new connections uh, and see how can we expand our network to uh, United States and work between Brazil and uh, different organizations uh, that we could find uh, during our uh, six weeks journey around the country. I'm Alex Feldman, I'm president of the US ASEAN Business Council. The U.S. ASEAN Council, U.S. ASEAN Business Council represents the top 125 uh, companies doing business in Southeast Asia. There are companies like Apple and Coca-Cola, Chevron, uh, Boeing in your case. Um, and uh, we really help our companies grow their businesses, create jobs both in the United States but also throughout Southeast Asia. And we hope that uh, we also do our part in promoting what's coming together as a single economic community in ASEAN in 2015. Um, the Eisenhower Fellowship was founded in uh, 1953 to help uh, execute on President Eisenhower's vision of a world where understanding replaces ignorance and collaboration builds a, a better world. Um, on my fellowship, I'm really coming to ASEAN to talk about how ASEAN creates a, an identity and I hope to take that in knowledge back to the United States and to work through the Eisenhower Network and Fellowship to, to take that idea forward as well as hopefully other ideas in the future. My name is Vincent Lin. Um, I represent an organization from Taiwan that has strong interests in civil aviation industry, mm -hmm. uh, real estate and development, and also in private security services. Now, um, I hope from the fellowship that I would be able to discover and explore current and future trends in urban and rural development, and also to uh, see if I can explore more best practices uh, also in these areas. Also, um, I would like to be able to 
uh, speak with or have a dialogue with uh, civil aviation leaders um, on the issues of flight safety and also to promote Taiwan's uh, ability to participate in international civil aviation agencies to ensure safety for all travelers in the world. I'm Deborah Gordon. P people call me Deb. I lead the communication and growth strategies for a nonprofit health plan that serves lower income people on subsidized insurance. Uh, my state is on the leading edge of healthcare reforms in the U.S., and so I'm here through Eisenhower Fellowships on a quest to find novel approaches uh, to empowering consumers in their own healthcare decisions in order to drive systemic change. Hi, my name is Tina Lo, and I'm from Taiwan. I'm in charge of the strategy for International Bank of Taiwan, the whole group, uh, not only the external, but also the internal. And the Industrial Bank of Taiwan uh, serves a very unique role in Taiwan, and uh, we can get to it a bit later if you're interested. And uh, as you might know, that the Eisenhower Fellows, they all serve in imp important roles in their countries, and I'm very honored to be part of it. And I treasure these opportunities that I can embrace the friendship around the world. And for this trip, um, I'd like to explore more possibilities to implement the happiness economics uh, to my country. And I think that the focus should be on happiness, but not economics. Hi, I'm Jennifer Smith, and I shape the educational experience of students working towards liberal arts degrees at Washington University in St. Louis. And I'm here on an Eisenhower Fellowship to engage with leaders in Indian higher education and business towards fostering ways for universities to enhance the creative capacity of their students, that they may go on not only to drive economic growth in their communities, but also to contribute novel approaches to solving global challenges. Uh, my name is Dan Isom. For 24 years, I had the privilege of being a police officer for the citizens of St. Louis. And for the last four years, I was honored to be the chief of police and lead the men and women of that police department. Um, I'm hoping that when I visit Ireland, uh, I'll be able to learn more about uh, how you police in an urban environment and how you give officers the skills to deal with the tensions that manifest between police officers and the community, hopefully to give them those skills and elevate their training. I'm a Dr. Pilvi Torsti from Finland. Uh, in my daily life, I serve the people of my city as the member of the city board. And also at the state, I work as the political advisor of our government. My passion really is um, education. So in the last 10 years of my life, before actually entering politics, I think the most important thing I did was I worked after the Balkan Wars in former Bosnia and Herzegovina and set up the first multinational school there. I've been teaching and, and, and training uh, students also, of course, in Finland. Uh, in my fellowship uh, here in the United States, I wish to meet people with broad set of interests and use this whole network of Americans and of international fellows to really think the big picture. Because in politics we take decisions on daily and weekly basis, but we shouldn't lose the sight of the big picture. And that's really why I'm here for and listening to you and what you can share with me about the questions of our time. I'm Oren Magnesi from uh, Tel Aviv, Israel. Uh, after uh, 10 years in, in public service, I uh, established an international consulting firm uh, which promotes uh, new ideas and technologies. Mm -hmm. um, I think the most exciting thing about being an Eisenhower Fellow is knowing that you are part of a community, a global community, of, of very passionate people um, uh, that as individuals but also as communities and as a group uh, promotes uh, uh, a better world in a sense. Um, what I in, intend to focus on my, on my fellowship is um, at the nexus of government, technology, and business. I'm especially interested in um, really um, finding ways to foster constructive leadership between left and right and better collaboration between the private and public sectors. I'm Gush Medlin. I have the privilege of leading uh, HP's education efforts around the world in over 160 countries. Hewlett Packard is dedicated to enabling teachers and students to make it matter. On my fellowship to Ireland and the European Union, I hope to uncover the best relationship possible between the public and private sectors, alleviating some of the tension that's existed uh, in recent years and building a scalable model for creating shared value to benefit both the firms and the economic well-being of the societies uh, as well as the societies themselves on social issues. Uh, I'm uh, Salvatore Iaconesi, I'm from Italy. I'm an artist, I'm a robotic engineer, and I am a near-future designer. 
which means that uh, I collect the signals of uh, transformations in uh, human society and I use them to design uh, actual products, uh, um, artworks uh, and uh, even services. Uh, while I'm on the Eisenhower Fellowship, I will um, observe, uh, much like an anthropologist does, um, the ways in which uh, companies, organizations and institutions imagine bringing change uh, to our human society. Uh, I'm Dima Chamali and I'm a professor at the American University in Beirut. Uh, I'm a passionate academic. Uh, I'm passionate about teaching. Uh, touching lives and shaping the minds of future leaders in my country. Uh, I'm particularly passionate about corporate social responsibility and uh, nurturing a crop of leaders who can balance social and economic development. Uh, I feel so happy and privileged to have this opportunity through Eisenhower Fellowships to tour across the USA uh, and learn from best practices and latest trends on CSR uh, and benefit from the network and the exposure uh, as we look to set up our own center for uh, responsible leadership and social innovation at my university. My name is Christina Juhas, but please call me CJ. I have the privilege of being the chief investment officer for a $30 million private equity fund that is sponsored by Women's World Banking and seeks to invest in financial institutions that are offering services to the unbanked populations around the world, especially women. The reason we focus on women is because we understand the outperformance potential, both financially and socially, of investing in women. Women-owned businesses grow very fast, tend to be very well managed, and if properly nurtured, can contribute significantly to the national GDP. Women also invest more of their income in their families and their communities, and that benefits everyone. So I'm so honored to be sponsored by the Eisenhower Fellowships. Eisenhower Fellowships seek to link leaders from around the globe in order to promote better understanding, foster opportunities for shared interest, and cross-border collaboration. So I am going to Turkey and Jordan toward the end of the year. And I will be seeking to gain a better understanding of the unbanked populations in those countries, particularly women, and ideally identify opportunities for my fund to make investments in order to offer greater financial inclusion for those women and to enjoy more financial and social prosperity for themselves, for my fund, and for the whole world. My name is Aisha Osori. I work for the Nigerian Women's Trust Fund. And I'm passionate about gender justice and the fact that although Nigeria has 50% population that's female, we only have 7% in parliament. And I really believe that bringing the diversity and the unique experiences of women into decision making will help speed up sustainable development in Nigeria. I have the privilege of spending seven weeks due to the Eisenhower Fellowships to pursue my areas of interest. And I think this is a special opportunity because it will help me achieve three things. One, being able to design an effective and innovative communication campaign to help me address the issues and the benefits and reframe, reframe the issues and benefits around why women are so important and why they bring benefit to society. And two, I hope to be able to develop a network of talented and passionate leaders, stakeholders, partners across the world who, will, who care about developing, sustaining, developing sustainable democracies. And three, I hope that when I go back home at the end of the Eisenhower Fellowship, um, in time for the 2015 general elections, which will be quite defining in Nigeria, to be able to use what I've learned to drive and create a league of voters 10 million strong. We have a population of 160 million people. So I just want 10 million people informed and educated and involved mm -hmm. uh, to, to, to participate in the elections in 2015. And that's what I hope to achieve. Well, my name is David Clark. I'm a politician and I have the privilege of representing my city, Dunedin, in New Zealand's national parliament. It's a pretty fun job, to be honest. Uh, I get to um, have a go at everything. We're a small country. so. Uh, I get to have a go at most things. There's a lot of variety in it. 
I'm here on the Eisenhower Fellowship, which is seven weeks of intensive visits with thought leaders across the country, like yourself. Uh, and in that situation, I get to ask questions about how to make the world a more just, peaceful and prosperous place. That's the Eisenhower motto. Uh, my particular concern and interest is around the area of uh, closing the gap between rich and poor. I'm convinced that gap's become too large. Mm. And I want to create the conditions in society for social mobility. So I'm interested in structural questions at state, federal level. How do we create sustainable economic growth that actually is sheerly, is sheerly fed, fairly shared amongst all of our citizenry? My name is Basma uh, al Bahirin, and I'm from Saudi Arabia, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Um, I am currently leading the establishment of a 595-bed uh, hospital, uh, Princess Noura University Hospital, uh, and we will focus on women's health and well-being. And what I hope to gain um, from this fellowship is that, for me, the Eisenhower uh, Fellowship is, is an exciting and adventurous journey um, that will allow me to share and exchange ideas and build partnerships. My name is Polly Ruland. I'm an Eisenhower Fellow, and I also lead an organization that's a nonprofit in Denver, Colorado, dealing with promotion and research in the beef industry. So, what I hope to gain while I'm in Japan is to learn more about how to bring more U.S. beef to Japanese consumers, and also to learn more about sociological and economic systems that revolve around food in Japan. My name is Stefan Reich. I am from Peru and I lead a, an organization that helps other firms uh, go through the process of change in management and leadership. Um, I, we work all over Latin America. We work with mining industries, with banks, with supermarkets, and uh, I'm an Eisenhower Fellow, uh, which is a program uh, that brings young leaders from all over the world to be in the U.S., learn about the U.S., network, and hopefully make a better world. I hope to meet a lot of interesting people, I hope to learn more about my industry. I hope to develop ties, close ties, with people from different parts of the world. And I'm hoping here, and this is why I'm here with you, to learn about, about uh, leadership and what works and what doesn't work in your organization. Hi, I'm Pavel, La Pavel Lagov. I'm from Russia. Uh, I am a strategy and business development director uh, for the company called Interrail, which offers logistical services to international customers. I am responsible for identifying strategic opportunities and synergies for our business units uh, all over uh, across the Eurasian continent. Mm -hmm. uh, why I'm here? Uh, for two major reasons. Uh, reason number one, I would like to learn best practices in leadership, uh, in uh, supply chain management, in risk management, and in development of corporate culture. And reason number two, which is probably most important, I would like to uh, uh, being surrounded by Eisenhower Fellows, mm -hmm. outstanding indi individuals as well as trustees, I would like to uh, not only build partnership and uh, friendships, but also to take my time uh, to stop for a while and uh, to think outside of the box. Uh, how can I develop not only my personal career further, but how can I contribute to the society together with the members of Eisenhower family uh, just to make a world a slightly better place? My name is Wang Rijun from China. I'm working for the Ministry of Science Technology, uh, focusing on the, the strategy, policy making, and the supervision, its, imp its implementations. And uh, this time, under the support of, of Eisenhower Fellowships, I'm here to explore the American experience mm -hmm. uh, in the aspect of innovations. I want to get more understanding about uh, the system of innovation and how the government, the, the private sector, and the institutions correlate to each other and how they function. And uh, also, I'm going to talk with people to, to explore the opportunities, future cooperation of technology transfer. I want to, of course, if United States counterparts want to know something about China, I, I would like to talk or communicate with them. And uh, Eisenhower Fellowship is actually, for me, it's first to you know, not know that 
that long, mm -hmm. it is a non-profit organization based in the United States to provide support to, to other countries, outstanding young leaders mm -hmm. uh, to get the founder knowledge about United States to empower them to achieve consequential outcomes. I will be fulfill its goal and fulfill my obligations. Mm. Okay. My name is Nomfane Lomakwinchu. I'm from South Africa. I'm an independent advisor, and my focus and passion is on public sector. My objective is to support government departments and state-owned companies to improve their service delivery to their clients. Prior to this, I had an opportunity to lead the delivery of the 2010 FIFA World Cup in South Africa. My objective on the fellowship would be to explore different methodologies to improve teacher capabilities. And I'm also passionate about aviation safety, and I'll be looking at different technologies that we can collaborate with South Africa and, and America on improving aviation safety in Africa. My name is Juan Pedro Moreno. I come from Madrid, Spain. Uh, I work for Accenture, uh, managing globally the banking industry. Mm -hmm. And I feel really privileged by being given the opportunity by Eisenhower Fellowship to come to the U.S. and explore which are the challenges, responses, and trends that the U.S. institutions, uh, banks, and, and other institutions are facing after the crisis, which will be the new landscape of banking and financial services across the world. And what's the role? And, uh, of the institutions uh, in the United States and, and their views around that. Hi, my name is Vishal Talreja. I'm from India. Uh, I've had the honor of leading and starting an organization in India called Dream a Dream. Dream a Dream works with young people from vulnerable backgrounds, helping them and supporting them to make healthy choices in life so they can grow up and become productive members of the country. As part of the Eisenhower Fellowship, I'm here to learn and explore education innovations, uh, right from policy to what's happening with curriculum and content, uh, and innovative initiatives that entrepreneurs here are running, uh, which I can take back and contextualize in the Indian scenario. So I'm here to learn. When, when I look at, when I look at the uh, United States, uh, there's been a lot of education innovation that's happened here. There's been cutting edge uh, technology use in education, a lot of e-learning that's happened yeah. here, uh, new methods of also teacher training and teacher transformation. And I believe there's a lot that I can learn, that I can take back to a country like India. Right. I'm Daniel Poole. Mm -hmm. uh, I work for the Expo Foundation in Sweden. Uh, Expo fights racism and intolerance, promoting an open and fair society. I'm here to connect people with that shares the same uh, passion and vision uh, that I do. Uh, I'm here to, to be inspired by the brave and stubborn community work that you have in the United States. And in the end, I'm here to learn how to give people tools to change our local community into places where we can all live equal. Hi, this is Serra, Serra Titis from Turkey. Um, the, I'm the founder and uh, director of Mikado Consulting, a not-for-profit company. Uh, committed to serve uh, sustainable development and yield social impact through uh, crafting innovative models and solutions. Uh, one example could be this youth platform we have, uh, which is formed by online and offline modules to empower and strengthen uh, youth aged 14 to 30 for them to become more proactive leaders in their lives and make more informed choices, better cho choices, life, career and education choices. Uh, and this and this leads with uh, more fulfillment in their life. Okay. Um, throughout my Eisenhower Fellowship program in the U.S., mm -hmm. uh, I'll be exploring different various uh, sustainable development, sustainability, and social innovation practices. Mm -hmm. And I hope to be get uh, to get more in, uh, inspired uh, here, seeing all these different models, mm -hmm. and and continue to do whatever I'm doing back in Turkey. My name is Vin mm -hmm. So and So What. I'm the dean of the largest engineering school in Thailand and also I'm the chairman of National Housing Authority that taking care of millions of low-income people, making sure that they have their own home. Thanks to Eisenhower Fellowships that allow me and other leaders to come here 
to learn from you how to make a difference to the people of my country. My name is Neil Tanner. I'm the Chief Counsel of Cigna's Global Employer Segment. And Cigna is a global insurance and health services company where we strive to improve the health, well-being, and sense of security of all of our customers around the world, really millions of people around the world. So with the Eisenhower Fellowship, I'm just thrilled to be a 2013 fellow um, because millions of people around the world work for companies that actually were started in a completely different part of the world. And even though when you look across the world, different groups are much better at attracting these companies to their region. And so I want to go out and learn the best practices from these individuals and organizations that have done a really phenomenal job about bringing these foreign companies to their region. And hopefully the Eisenhower Fellowships will give me the opportunity to take these learnings and bring them back to my home region for the benefit of my whole community.